Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Today in this video we will see how can we create a reactive form for the login. So let's get started. You can see here the login component. Let's go to our Angular application and you can see the component section under the auth package. And you can see the login component. So our login component is registered in our app.module.ts. So here I'm going to add a code. You can see here the main div. In this div, we have a form tag with the two inputs. First one is the email and the second one is the password. And you can see the login and the register now button. So let me save this and go to our CSS file and let me add here the properties. You can see here the properties for the form. Let's go to our HTML file and here I'm going to copy this property and go to our TS. Let's declare with a boolean and it's by default false. Let's go to our UI and you can see the login form. So right now it's static. We are not getting the values from the input on the click of this button. So we need to make this form reactive. So let me click on this register now button and you can see it's navigating us to the sign up component. Okay. So let's go back to our login component. Initialize the variable that is a login form. Let's initialize with form group. After that, I'm going to add here constructor to inject our form builder. So it will be a private FP and a form builder over here. I have created the instance of the form builder. And after that, I'm going to add here the ng on init lifecycle hook to initialize our reactive form. Here we need to call this dot login form is equals to this dot fp dot group so in this we need to declare here the inputs name that we need to get from the form so the first one is the email so it's by default null and i'm adding here the validation that is a validators dot email and the second that is a validators dot required so the second is a password so it will by default null and the validation. Let me add here validators dot required. So we need to bind our TS with the HTML. So let me copy the variable name and go to our form tag. And here I'm going to select a property that is a form group. So here we need to give the variable name that is a login form. So our form is bind with our TS. So we also need to bind our inputs with our TS. So let me copy here the variable name that is an email. And here we need to bind the input with the form control name. And it will be an email. So after that, we need to bind our password input. So let me copy the name that is a password. Go to our input for the password. And here we need to select form control name and the password over here. Now our form and the inputs are bind with our TS. So we need to get the input values in the method on the click of any button. So here I'm going to add an event that is a click. And on this, I'm going to call this method that is a login. Let me copy the method name and go to our TS. And here I'm going to create a method. So now I'm adding here console.log. And here we need to print our login form inputs. So it will be a this dot login form dot value. 
let's save this go to our ui let's go to our login component and here i'm opening inspect and the console over here let's put here the email like test at the rate test.com and the password over here like test let's click on this login button and you can see we are getting the values in our console you can see the email and you can see the password let's add another property on the login button like disabled and here i'm adding login form dot invalid let's save this go to our ui and you can see the button is disabled it will remain disabled until our inputs is valid so let me add again that means like at the red test dot com and the password over here like johan and you can see button is enabled if i'm removing the email from here and putting the name and you can see button is disabled so let me add here the lead email and you can see we are getting the values from the input after that i'm going to create a new module in our angular application where we will add all the imports of our ui library so here in the app package i'm going to create a new class so the class name is a ng0 imports module for ts okay so let's save this so first of all here i'm going to import from that is a at the rate angular slash core okay so after that i'm going to add here the decorator that is a ng module and here we need to add exports and after that we need to export class file name so after that i'm going to cut all the imports from the app module.ts and go to our ng0 import module.ts and add after that and we are also need to shift into our imports file so let me save this and go to our this module and here we need to add in the export section so let's save this after that we need to import this file into our app module so here i'm adding in the imports that is a ng0 imports module from dot slash this one okay let's hit enter and it will import automatically and you can see error removed let's go to our ui and let me refresh the component again and you can see it's working fine let's go to our sign up component okay so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment i will attach the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye